Hello, I'm Hayley Smith and you're watching Hexus TV. Here I have the iPhone 4 and unlike the iPhone 3G it comes with a brand new state-of-the-art retina display screen which can hold up to four times more pixels than the iPhone 3 and it makes, as you can see, the screen look crisp as well as your photos, your films and your text when you're reading the books. Another new feature on the iPhone 4 is their brand new uh, digital camera. It is 5 megapixels and it has an automatic LED flash so you will no longer have those awful photos when taken in the dark. A uh, further feature is the brand new 720p HD video camera which you can change to with a tap of a button on the camera. A further feature is a brand new feature which is FaceTime on the iPhone 4. It allows you to make video call in direct to friends and family, however it is only useful if the person you want to video call also has an iPhone 4, otherwise it doesn't work. And it is only available when you're on a Wi-Fi network. It goes without saying that there are hundreds of thousands of apps available for the iPhone 4. Um, all with different uses, games, entertainment, lifestyle, business. There's not really much more to say about the apps because everyone knows about them. As you'll be aware, the iPhone 4 does have signal problems and it hasn't gone unnoticed while I've been using this phone. There's not much to say about that other than fix it. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the iPhones and the iPhone 4 hasn't changed my opinion. The only thing that I do like about it is the text messaging because it allows you to text easily and efficiently and it sends text messages quickly so you're able to mass text. On a final note, just like its predecessors, the iPhone 4 comes in both black and white and it is available in 16 and 32 gigabyte models. I'm Hayley Smith, you've been watching Hexus TV, check back soon for more.